Right, in the previous video, we created a simple report. And in that report, we created a local class. And in that local class, we had two methods. We, one of them was used to get all the data from the SLAT table, and the other was to display it in an ALV. And our output looked something like this. Now, we want to take it one step further and add a functions toolbar the standard SAP functions toolbar at the top here for the user. Um, and to do that, we are going to do the following. We will create a new method called set ALV functions, for example. Um, as always in um, Eclipse and our developer tools, we have this missing implementation error, which we can uh, just press control one and select add implementation and it pops it down here for us in the class implementation section, which is quite handy. So in here, we need to create a functions list object. And to do that, we are going to use inline declarations to create local ALV functions list. And we're going to get that from our ALV object. And we are going to get functions. And when we um, have that object, we can then tell it to display. When we have that, when we have this object, all we need to do is to call the method set all, and we can pass it a boolean from our interface. Set that to true and control F2 to check, control F3 to activate. And now that we have this method here, we are going to call it inside of our display S flight ALV uh, method over there. So let's add that in there. And activate again. And so when we execute, we should have our toolbar. And you can do all sorts of things like sort ascending or descending. Uh, we can do sums and totals. Uh, we can even export to Excel or the clipboard or whatever you fancy. Now that we have this toolbar here, um, you might decide that you want to tweak it even further and only allow certain icons up here, for example. So what we can do there is go back to our set ALV functions method and with that same object, after displaying all of them, all of the functions at the top in the toolbar, we can then um, get a bit more specific and all these different methods here, we can use to set either as true or false well, it's false in this case because we want to hide them, seeing as we've already set all to true at the top here. So let's look for, um, what shall we hide? Let's hide, for no good reason, let's hide the sort ascending and descending. And that is, And so we're going to set this interface to false, interface value to false. And let's do the same with the descending sort button as well. Not that we would ever do this, but for demonstration purposes, set sort descending. And 
let's set the boolean to false. False. All right, let's save, check, and let's go ahead and execute and see if that worked. And there you are. Those two buttons have been removed. We can always switch them back on. I'll just comment that out, reactivate, and execute one more time. And there your buttons are again. Um, and so that is how you can create and interact with the um, ALV functions toolbar at the top here. Um, if you guys have any other suggestions or anything else you'd like to see uh, focused on with regards to the toolbar, uh, let me know in a comment down below. And if you like the video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. Um, thanks for watching.